Hey everyone, this is Andy at Stampin' with Amore. Welcome to my channel. If you are new, subscribe, hit the bell for notifications each time I upload a new video. I have a new catalog haul for you today, and it was all our pre-order that we got to um, order from. I didn't order everything off that pre-order. We had so much stuff, and I wanted to be sure I got all the new colors and all that. So I'm going to show you what I got. I got a, a few bundles and a couple sweets. I got mostly all my new in colors. I'll stamp them for you and the new in colors as well. I'll show you the paper and yeah, it's going to be a fun one. So if you <laughs> have a cup of coffee or a drink to sit back and relax and watch the haul. All right, so I'm going to start off with our colors because we got a bunch of new colors. They did a color refresh, which means they take and move around colors. And we get new ones to fill in, and they take away some. And by the way, there's a retired list on my blog. If you haven't got your refills and your paper from the ones that are retiring, you probably want to do that quickly because they always go super fast. All right, so I'm going to show you first the new in colors. And honestly, I love these colors, y'all. They're different than anything else. We got Moody Mauve, Copper Clay, Wild Wheat, Boho Blue, and Pebbled Path. This is like a gray color, but on a, oh, I love these colors. I love them together. They're going to really work well together. Um, it's different than we always had. We've been getting some bright colors, and I love that these are more muted, and it's more my style, actually. <laughs> so I do like the Brights collection is my favorite, but when we get colors like this, oh my gosh. I'm going to stamp these for you so you can see exactly what they look like. So I just grabbed a little daisy from an old stamp set, and I'm going to show you what they are like. So let's stamp this one first. This one's the Moody Mauve. So we're going to stamp that. You're going to have to wait a minute until it dries because sometimes it looks a little bit different when it dries. So that's Moody Mauve. This is Copper Clay. Let me get my chamois out here so I can clean this off after each one because I don't want to mess these up. So this is Copper Clay. And then we got Wild Wheat. I'll stamp the new colors for you. We have some returning colors. So on the returning colors, you are going to want to go look in your older stamp sets and see if you have them. The returning color, or the new color, core colors, you can order in a pack. So it's really nice if you don't have those, you can do that. And also the in colors. And this is Boho Blue. Whenever these are new, y'all, you know some some are a little bit hard to open, but I like that about it. This is the boho blue, but look at how pretty they are together. And then the last one is the pebbled path, and this is a really pretty gray. It looks like I, this is the first time I'm stamping it, y'all, because I just got these and I haven't. I just unpacked them. But I like that it's a darker gray, and it's a real true gray. All right, so that is all our new in colors right there. And then here are our, and I actually got the ribbon, y'all, to go with those. I did miss one, and I'm going to have to go back and order it. I, I missed the uh, copper clay one, but this is the Moody Mauve the Wild Wheat, the Pebbled Path, and this is Boho Blue. Y'all, you know it's going to take me a while to figure these out. I'm not going to unwrap that. I unwrapped this one. I did order two Boho Blue by mistake instead of the Copper Clay. So I'm going to see how this ties for you. It feels really good. It's soft. So we're going to see how it ties. And it makes a really pretty bow, y'all. Look at that. You're going to like this ribbon. It's super pretty. And they're calling it the textured ribbon. And it is, does have texture to it. This is really pretty, really pretty ribbon. I, I really like this. 
All right, so these are all in our in colors. We got new ribbon, of course, we always do. Let me grab another piece here. The, these are the in colors, and let me grab another piece here for the... Okay, so we have Misty Moonlight. The ones that we already had, like this one, we, we've had a while. I'm not going to stamp these. Oh, let me go ahead and stamp them. What the heck? So you can see what they, all the core colors are. I love Misty Moonlight. It was one of my favorite. I used it quite a bit, so I'm glad that it's back. And then we have, okay, this one's a new one, Azure Afternoon. I want to see what this is like next to the, we got quite a few of blues. So that's the new, that's a new one, Azure Afternoon. It's very pretty. I was really sad because we lost our not Coastal Cabana, but we lost our Bermuda Bay, and that was one of my favorite. All right, so this one is Blueberry Bushel. This is a returning color, y'all. We had this color before, and it's really pretty as well. So go check out your old stamp sets. One thing I wanna let you know, though, um, do not use the new ring inkers with the old pads because this is a new formula and you do not want to mix them. It's not going to work well. This is bubble bath. I'm super excited about this bubble bath because it's a really pretty pink. Yeah, I love that. It's a really nice light pink, like a baby pink. All right, and then Pretty Peacock, this one came back as well. This one was one of our uh, in colors. I love this one too. I used it the other day on a project because I knew it was coming back. All right, and then we also, Berry Burst is another one that came back. This was, I believe, an in color as well. Love this one too. I use this one a lot too, the Berry Burst. All right, and then we got a new one is Lemon Lolly. And we'll see what that one looks like. It's a pretty yellow. It's not real bright. I think it'd be pretty for a baby as well. And Fresh Freesia, you know that one we have. It came back as well. So that is the Fresh Freesia. So you can see how they all compare. I absolutely love these new colors, these new core colors that came back. This is Lost Lagoon. And it also came back. Now this one was quite a bit older, but it was one of my favorite too. It's kind of a teal. It's really close to, to this one, but not quite as dark. So these are gonna work good, good together. And that one was, which one was that? That one was Pretty Peacock. So these two are gonna work really nice together. And then we got Pecan Pie, and this is a new one. I love this. I don't know how many of you remember chocolate chip. That was one of my favorite and when it went away I was so sad. And then lemon lime twist and this is also another returning one but this is like an older one as well. I can't remember how far back that one went. Not, not really far back but I love lemon lime twist too. Look at that, just a nice bright green there. All right, so these are all our new core colors, some coming back and some that um, are brand new and then our new in colors. Look how pretty, aren't they pretty y'all? Oh my gosh, I love colors and yeah, I'm gonna have so much fun with these. All right, so that's all our colors right there. I got all the blends to go with them. I got new blends, all of these. I got stuff all over the place. 
And I still have a couple more that I didn't get. I still have more over here. And there's a couple that I didn't get yet. Um, so I had forgotten to put them on my list. But look at how pretty. So we got a bunch of new blends to play with. And then I'm going to show you the... Um, I'm not going to show you the design, the paper, the cardstock. I'll just show you what I got. So I got, I did get the pack. That's from the other day. <laughs> I did get the new in color, 2023-25 in color. So these are all the in colors. These right here. And I also got it in the 12 by 12 because you know, and if you follow me very much, you want the in colors in the 12 by 12 or any of them in 12 because you know I do a lot of boxes and sometimes I need a 12 by 12. And then I got all the new core colors, which were these colors right here. I got that in the 8.5 by 11 and the 12 by 12. So I love using the 12 by 12 because I can make some bigger boxes with those. And so that's why I get that 12 by 12. Then I got all of the new 6 by 6 in the brights. Got it in the neutrals and the uh, in colors and I got it in the subtles and in the regals because I use these a ton. I'm going to just show you one pack in the designs that they come in so you know this comes in all our color families. So you have these y'all oh my gosh look at the polka dot. This one has hearts on the other side but I love polka dots. If you've been around, you know that already. So, got the polka dots and this stripe, and it comes in every one of these colors the, that we have. So there's the polka dots, stripes, hearts, polka dots. So it comes in all our different colors and every one of our colors in this family pretty peacock and real red and oh my gosh aren't they so pretty y'all I cannot wait I'm gonna start using some of these so you can see some projects um, it goes live our, on May on May 3rd I believe it is I'll double double check that but yeah I think it's May 3rd it goes live and so yeah they're in all my colors so I love these pads I use them like crazy like I always have to buy more all right <clears throat> now I'm going to show you some of the stamp sets and the bundles that I got so I got wonderful thoughts and this one has all kinds of sentiments. I always grab some of these sentiments because this one I love because it's got the cursive with the regular font. And then it comes with the dies. And we had a set like this too. But it comes with these dies. Let me open these and show you. So it cuts it out perfectly. I haven't even opened these y'all so you can see. So look at that. So it's got all, and then it's even got these where you can use the little uh, smaller ones. Like this is for the really narrow one. And then it has some different pieces. And I'm not exactly sure. Um, I, I guess this goes, let's see. I'm going to try to see where these go. Sometimes, oh, there you go. So that goes on there, but you can see how it cuts it out just perfectly. We got some hearts in here. We got this flower. It's beautiful. So there's a lot of extra pieces in here as well. But I love these because it, it's got every occasion in there. You can use for so many occasions. And I love that they stick stuck in the hello, thanks, and hi, friend there as well. So that's called Wonderful Thoughts. And the Wonderful Thoughts dies. And then we have the Country Corners. I can't wait to use this. Y'all, you know what I have in mind for this, right? And it came with the um, embossing folder as well. I didn't even look at any of these, so I'm going to be opening them with you. 
this is so pretty. So look at this embossing folder. I hope you can see this. It is just beautiful. I should have brought a piece of black cardstock because it's usually you can see it better on that. This is gorgeous. So that is the, I bought the suite in this one. So, and then the stamp set, I opened this already and looked and this stamp set you have to stamp it's like a background stamp, so it's one full piece right here. But the dies will cut out the different layers, I believe. So, let's look at these. Yeah, see, look at these. Oh my gosh, you know what my thoughts are, right, with this? So I think that you can cut out, you have to stamp the whole thing, but you can cut out like that would fit on there. And so you'd get that. And then each layer you can cut out if you want to cut out the layers. You can cut out the layers or you can just use these dies. I love these dies. Anytime there's dies like that, I, I grab them. I gravitate to those big dies. <laughs> so that is the countryside corners. I got to remember all these things again, y'all. And then, oh my goodness, look at this one. This is one of my very favorite, the Zany Zoo. Look at these little guys here. You know, if I can color it, I'm going to get it. I love coloring, and so, yeah, I get crazy with the coloring ones. So the Zany Zoo, I'm going to grab the paper and show you the paper as well at this time. Same time. I was going to show it separate, but it's super cute and I want to show you some things, I believe. So this, look at these. And there's a lot of extra. Look at there's a Christmas tree. There's, there's clouds, flowers, little balloons. You can use this for all different occasions. Oh, it's got a little scallop right here. Oh my gosh. I love that. So as you can see, it's going to cut out this. Let me grab the paper really quickly because I want to show you something too. So look at this paper. <laughs> Y'all, I haven't even opened it. So I'm thinking it cuts out these little guys as well. So let's check it out. Just open this up. Look at this paper. Oh my gosh. Yeah, look at this. It does. It cuts out that little alligator or crocodile. I don't know if he's an alligator or a crocodile. And let's see what else it might cut out. I am not sure. Let's look at the other pieces. It doesn't cut out him. But you can fussy cut that, y'all, or use your scan and cut for that if you want to use him. Because you know I'm going to use my scan and cut. I, I will show you all how to cut out these with the scan and cut because I know a lot of you have been wanting to see the designer series paper cut with the scan and cut. Oh, on the other side, it's black and white. Okay, look at this elephant, y'all. doesn't cut out the elephant. I think it cuts out this guy. I'm not sure. Let me look. No. What? Who is this one? Okay, maybe he's not on this page. This one has balloons. So I think it's this guy right here. Yep. Look at how it's partially colored too. I know a lot of you are going to love that, those who don't like to color. Oh boy, I need to uh, take a picture of this so that I can remember where these go. There's a little llama here, and let's see. I think the llama, this one's got little black and white on the back as well. Oh, here's the llama. <laughs> that cuts out the llama too, y'all. This one. I think it's a llama. I don't know. It's crocheting or knitting. And then there's another one right here, but I'm not sure which one this is. I'm not quite sure. Look at this. 
<laughs> oh my gosh, I love that. Let's see if there's another page. Oh, and this is that side. I think it might be this beaver guy. I don't know. No, maybe not. Look at these. Oh my gosh, y'all. I have to figure out which one this one cuts out. I haven't found him yet. So, I don't know. And then this is white with the black. And then look at this. Holy cow. Y'all, I am going to have so much fun with this. You know you're going to see this a lot. So that's that. And then here's another one. There's so many little animals. I just, I just don't know. Oh, there he is, the skunk. That's the one it cuts out. And there's one more, the turtle. So that little turtle that we saw a minute ago, it cuts out a turtle too. There's a little turtle there. And the back of this one is white with black flowers. So that is all of those, y'all. Oh my gosh. Isn't that so adorable? Holy cow, I cannot wait. All right, let's get these back in here. This is going to be super popular, and if you want it, you need to get it quick, because you know what happens when they become very popular. <laughs> they seem to go in back order. Sorry about that, but they do. All right, so this is Beautiful Balloons. This is another one I've been waiting forever to get a large balloon like this. And so this one is photopolymer, and it comes with the dies. Again, I didn't look at these. So we're going to look at them together. And I'm, I know it's going to cut out the balloons, of course. Oh, yes. Oh, my goodness. It cuts out all three of these at once, too, if you want to. Because look at this. I think that's how it works, this one. No? It's got a little one, a big one. This might go with the paper. I am not sure. Y'all, this is what happens when I open up with you. I know it has this balloons right here, and then it's got um, a, a plain balloon you could cut out, and then these two smaller ones. It's got two stars, another little one. It cuts out this little tassel right here and an extra tag, and look at this. I love that. And then this little stars and confetti. Love that. I'm going to have to look and see if I... I did get the... Oh yes, the paper. I think this is the paper right here. Bright and Beautiful. This is the paper. It was the Bright and Beautiful Sweet, I believe. So let's see what this has got. I'm going to just go through it really quickly. Stripes. Look how pretty though. Oh, I love that one. Oh, I love that too. But look how nice they coordinate the front and the back. I love when that happens. Yeah, these are so pretty. Love this paper. So cheerful. Look at the stars. A good one for 4th of July. This one's got all confetti and those stars. Look at that, aren't they? This is, love this paper. I love this paper. All right, so that's what I thought it might, it might cut out that. I'm gonna have to figure that one out and let y'all know how that one works. All right, so that was another one. I'm gonna grab a couple more that have punches. So this is one of my favorite too. It's called Circle Sayings. I love these. They're perfect for boxes and bags and stuff like that. So, and it comes with a two and three eighths inch circle punch. And this is a bundle. So it's photopolymer. It's got a cupcake on it. You can see the cupcake, the little um, sky with the ocean, some little seashells, flowers. And then these are all curved so they fit around the circle. And then like you could put the cupcake in the inside, I believe. And it, yeah, it's so pretty. 
I love these and I'm so happy to have another big circle punch. So that is the circle sayings. And then the other one, last but not least, is the little monkey. Look at another monkey one. Oh my gosh, isn't that so cute? This is also photopolymer. But look at the monkeys. Oh my goodness, they are so cute. And then there's a punch right here for the monkeys. And I believe it's these, I think it's this monkey it cuts out. Because this one's backwards. I'm wondering if it, which one it'll punch out. Let me open this a minute. Because when you put it in the paper, yeah, it's this one. It's going to be the other way. I think you can do it both, though. I think it might do both of those. We're going to have to check that out again, too. All right, so it'd be so cute, but wouldn't it be cute hanging off that little tree? <laughs> it just says, it's so cute. It says, I'm bananas about you. Just swinging by to say hi and little monkey. That'd be cute for a baby uh, shower or something like that, or birth baby birthday. All right, and then I have one more stamp set, and it's this one right here. I got this because it has the Stampin' Up um, that you can stamp when you make your cards. It has the... Oh, what do you call that? You have to stamp this on your card when you sell it. And then this is hand stamped, especially for you. And then I, I love the hand, the writing. And my main thing I got this for was this post mailbox. You know how I love mailboxes. It's so cute. This one's also a photopolymer. Isn't that cute? I really like this one. It's even got a little heart right there. Tiny little heart. All right, so now to the paper that's left. And this one actually came with one of the bundles, and I think it was the balloon one. This was part of the suite. I'm going to open this because this is specialty paper. And I'm thinking it's like acetate, like the window sheet only printed. Oh, my goodness, it is. So it has confetti. You see that? And it's gold. This one's balloons. Well, not balloons. This is polka dot. <laughs> what am I thinking? I'm thinking balloons. And then <laughs> this one is super pretty, too. It's got the stars and confetti on it. Yeah, I love this stuff when we have the printed. It's so pretty. And my mind's reeling already for that. And then the last one goes with the um, other suite that, no, I can't think of the name of it. Let me grab it. It goes with the Countryside Corners, and this was part of the suite as well. So I did get two suites when I ordered. I think it was two. And so this is the paper that coordinates with this, and I absolutely love it. I love the first page. And then here's the other side. Oh my gosh, this one's got little bunnies on it. I love this style. And there's the other side of that. This one has little birds. And then the other side is striped. Look at this, isn't this pretty? That one is, oops. That one has that striped pattern on it. This one's got little foxes on it. It's the other side of that one. And then this is the last one on here. Of all of them, this one's probably my least favorite. But the rest of them, I absolutely love. All right, I have just another pack of ribbon I want to share with you. And it, do, it did come with one of the... Um, sweets, but I'm not sure which one it came with. So it is this ribbon right here. It may have come with the Zoo one ribbon duo pack. I may have ordered it separate though. This is absolutely stunning. I love this. It is in the lemon lime twist. Look at this. I love this small ribbon, y'all. You're gonna love this one too. 
because you can tie a really nice bow with that. It's really small, and I love when it comes in two pack. And I don't remember what the color of this one is. I don't know. Let's see what it says. It's funny, I haven't seen this before where it says choking hazard on the ribbon pack. I think because it's small. But this one, I don't know if it's a new in color. I cannot. I think it's bubble bath. It doesn't say on the pack. This is really pretty too. This one's like a striped. But look how cute that is. Oh my goodness, can you you probably can't even see the detail in that. It's so pretty, but this is a pack that comes together. And I think that is all, y'all. I think I showed you everything in here. Let me double check. Yep, that's it, everyone. So again, here's our new ink colors, our new core colors. Like I said, you could order these and you can order the ink colors and you can order all these together as one not both together but this one separate and this one so if you are interested in that but like i said it doesn't go live till may 3rd and so y'all i hope you enjoyed this haul make your wish list because it's going to be here before you know it <laughs> all right everyone i hope you have a blessed day today and i will catch you in the next video see you later everyone bye